What's up, y'all? It's Ty back here with another video. Yes, the intro is gone because 2K ruined that as well. So, hey, don't blame me. Blame uh, Take Two. Blame uh, uh, Sh Strauss, the CEO of, of Take Two Corporation, for that. Today, we're going to be going over the new cards added to uh, 2K24, my team today, quickly uh, and, and briskly because we've got uh, 35 cards. Most of them are absolute trash cans and if they're not trash cans, you probably got to gamble for them. Um, but hey, take twos, um, they, they, they outperform their earnings. So congrats. Everybody, everybody give a round of applause to everybody that spent money on this garbage game. That's why things are going to stay the same. So congrats. Uh, but we're going to start at the bottom and go towards the top. In this video specifically, I guess I'll do uh, two videos. This video, I'll talk about the rewards. In our other video, I'll talk about the unfazed players as well as the GOAT players. So this video specifically going to be talking about the rewards in Season 7 of my team. We're going to start off with Cam Thomas. I guess Larry Bird's a reward, so we'll talk about him as well. Cam Thomas, 6'3", 6'7", wingspan, 96, 3 ball, 96 speed, uh, whatever. Decent interior perimeter, lateral quickness, driving dunk, all that is fine. Cam Thomas on normal in AI dribble style, an absolute garbage man in my team. Larry Bird up next. The dude has an 80 speed as a Galaxy Opal. But hey, he's got the Larry Bird base on very quick, so we should be appreciative of the free Larry Bird they give us, right? Come on, man. This card is an absolute scrub. Um, and, and to be honest with you, there's I'll take Amethyst Peyton Watson over the guy like this. This card stinks. But you can grind him out for free if you do really want to get that Galaxy Opal Larry Bird. Dylan Brooks up next, 6'6", 95 three ball, 95 speed, solid defense. This is our first card today that I don't think is an absolute garbage man, but I don't think he's great. Kyrie dribble style. We'll see what that Dylan Brooks base is like, but I don't think this card is an absolute garbage man. This guy actually can do some things on the court. Again, I don't love him, but he's not totally worthless in a my team. Dylan Brooks can play some solid enough defense. Then you get Latrell Sprewell. Guessing you get him on your road towards level 40, uh, 92, three ball, 94 speed, solid into your perimeter, really solid defense. Evan Fournier on very quick, normal leaner, MJ Dribble style. I don't have a problem with Latrell's Rewo. If I did, it'd be because he's 6'5. That's the only real problem I have with Latrell's Rewo. Only 6'5, obviously, you know, limits his abilities a little bit, but still a really fine and solid card in my team. Kyle Lowry, Big Booty Lowry up next. Six feet tall, six three wings, fan out spots from everywhere. 94 three ball, 95 speed, a solid interior perimeter as well as solid defense. Uh, Lowry base, a very quick pro two leaner. Just a really, uh, you know, solid card. But again, he's six feet tall. So what are you going to do with the point guard that's six feet tall? Absolutely nothing. Jeremy Grant, uh, you do get him, I think, at like a level 20. 93 ball, 92 speed, solid defensively. Jeremy Grant on very quick. MJ Dribble Style, Norman Leaner, another card that is fine, but okay. Like, none of these cards are, like, great. They're all just okay, fine. You know, uh, Jalen Rose, Unlimited Reward. Let's talk about him. You get 20 wins in Unlimited. You get 6'8", Jalen Rose, 93, three ball, 94 speed, solid interior perimeter. Just a solid overall point guard. Kuzma base. Mm. Now, let me, let me, let me tell y'all something. Y'all see Kuzma base, and y'all be like, oh my gosh, Ty, that's the best release in the game. No, it's not. It was last year. This year, it's not. It's an okay release. Not great. Uh, Tony Parker up a pro two leaner. Kyrie Drew style. Still think he's going to be solid, but don't sit up here and think that Kuzma base is going to be like the best release in the game because you will be let down when you get Jalen Rose. It's still a fine release. Don't let me tell you it's bad, but it's just not what a lot of people probably think it's going to be. Next reward card, George Mikan, 40 tokens. You can get the Mikan man, 93 ball, 92 speed, solid interior. Great rebounder. D-book base on very quick, normally in MJ dribble style. George Mikan is really good. Obviously going to be way better at that power forward position than the center position. But if you're no money spent or even don't have the best team in the game, George Mikan is going to be a great addition to your squad. He can play defense, has a good release. Just overall, a really solid option. Adrian Dantley, I'm guessing he is in salary cap. 87, three ball, 96 speed. Decent defender. Again, only 6'5". Gary Trent Jr. based on very quick. Trey Leaner, MJ Dribble style. I mean, whatever. If you want to go grind for Adrian Dantley, do what you got to do. He is not great, though, in my team. DeJounte Murray, again, I'm guessing. Point guard, point guard. Okay, what is the point of doing that? <laughs> I mean, he can play point guard slash point guard. I mean, okay. 
Um, a 93 ball, 96 speed, uh, solid defensively. Deshante based on very quick MJ dribble side trailing. I mean, it, it is what it is. These cards are all going to be really solid, but just not great. Jamal Mashburn, 6'8". Jamal Mashburn might be one of my favorites out of them all. Nas, Reed, base on very quick normal leaner MJ dribble side. But even him, his release is just not going to be that great in my team. RJ Barrett could get him in any game mode. Uh, you know, is that like 5,000 points and a limited 100 wins and triple their offline? Stuff like that. RJ Barrett on very quick. Pro 2 leaner MJ Dribble style. I think RJ Barrett's going to be really, 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 really good. Okay, so just take that for what it's worth. I think this card is going to be fantastic in my team. If you do get him, I, 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 I'd play him. Okay, I, I do think RJ Barrett's going to be honestly elite. And I'll say it right here right now. I think RJ Barrett's going to be better than J.R. Smith. They do not change anything with J.R. Smith. This card is not good. The question of the day is, is J.R. Smith uh, worth grinding for? No, I mean, he's not. Like, Glenn last season was absolutely worthless. J.R. would need the Patty Mills base for J.R. Smith to be worth it. He's got the J.R. Smith base 100% not worth going for. So what is worth grinding this season? I'll be the one to tell you, absolutely nothing. Next up, guys, Billy Cunningham. You're looking at 6669 wingspan, 87 3 ball, 95 speed. Really good defensively. Like with Billy Cunningham, thing that hurts him is the Draymond Green base. Like that release obviously is not great. Uh, movement wise, fine. He is only 6'6 six, six at the three. He's just not necessarily great either. Jerry West, 6'3 at the point guard position. Skinny player build. Uh, it just hurts him. Like that skinny player build, definitely not great. Jerry West on very quick pro two leaner. Kyrie Joe style. He's not totally worthless. Definitely not great though in my team. Jamal Murray pro pass reward horrible. So I'm going to say right now, is the pro pass worth it? It's up to you. You guys can be the ones to make that uh, decision for yourself. If you're going to play the game a lot, still probably would get it. But Jamal Murray by himself is not worth it. This card is a bona fide scrub in my team and uh, and his right elbow hurt. So we'll see what happens for game seven. Jokic, point guard, pro pass, Jokic. The only real difference here is that he has, uh, you know, point guard eligibility. The other Jokic won't. Point guard eligibility, but he still has the Jokic base, uh, you know, pro two leaner, MJ Drew style. Oh, that's nice. He's going to be a cheese ball at the point guard position, but I'll be the one to say it right now. I think Shea is better than Jokic. So take that for what it's worth. Um, Jokic going to be really good because he's so tall, but don't feel like you need that Jokic. Power forward, center Jokic. Again, the same card, literally exact same. Just different positions. He has power forward center. Just depends on what you're wanting. Obviously, the point guard Jokic is your better option. But some people might honestly rather play Jokic at the power forward position. That's going to be it for our rewards for today, guys. Um, it is what it is. Another season. This season's looking horrible. Jalen Rose looks okay. Uh, Mikan looks okay. And then, uh, you know, RJ Barrett looks okay. But outside of that, nothing really here to be too thrilled about. That's going to wrap it up for our video, guys. Drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.